Maryland attorney has filed a federal lawsuit challenging the Frederick County School Board's approval of a policy allowing students to choose which bathroom to use based on the gender with which they identify. Tom, do you see this policy backfiring on the Frederick County school system? I don't think so. I, I don't see how it's really going to happen because, I mean, they've done this all over the country. There's been this kind of an issue, and it always gets resolved pretty much by the courts in favor of whoever the school board or whatever. So this might be a nice little thing to throw out there in front of some of their elections, you know, just to roil the waters a little bit. But I don't. I don't think it's really that big of an issue because I, I frankly don't hear much about it. People don't complain about it to me. They never have. Henry? And I've met a lot of people. Okay, I, I guess in, in my, my way of thinking, we have far greater problems yes. in this country <laughs> than deciding what handle in what room I'm going to pull yes. to flush the toilet. Yeah. Um, I would not be comfortable with a male who identifies as a female in a locker room if my daughter was in a public school. I wouldn't be comfortable with a female inside of a boy's locker room. And I understand that there, I, I believe from reading this, they provide alternative yeah. avenues for that they can utilize. And to me that seems like a, a rational way and not to draw criticism on the individual. Well, yeah, because they have to prove in court, you know, it's on behalf of a 15-year-old girl and her mother, but you have to prove in some way how you've been harmed by said policy or whatever, and they have a very difficult time doing this because there haven't been a lot of issues, and they have been doing this now. This has been their active policy in practice right. for the last six years. Okay, now. And now, it's, now all of a sudden it's an issue. Okay, now. Here's the issue. You're a referee, right? Yes. This policy went on that they can play the sport with the sex they identify themselves at. Now, do you agree with that? This this is more than tr uh, transgender yeah. bathrooms. This gets down into the sport they want to play. Uh, no, I don't agree with it. I think that um, God put women on the earth and men on the earth with different abilities. And this is not me making a sexist statement. but. Uh, if you have a male who identifies as a female and you put him out onto a basketball court against a female ball player, that may not be exactly a level playing field. If you have uh, a male who identifies as a female play volleyball, that really may not be a, a a competitive playing field to have it. Now, do you now what's your opinion with identifying the bathrooms is one thing. Now we're talking about in that same bill as I read it, you also have well, however you case. identify yeah. Yeah. yourself, you can play in that sport. Is that doesn't that kind of cross the line? I don't know that it does because again, they're they're going on experience here. They said these policies have in practice been in place for the last six years. They formally turned it into a formal policy, which is now part of is the Is there reason. a liability allowing somebody that's of a different gender to get hurt in a sport? Is there a liability having a, posi a, a policy that allows it? Well, I mean, is there any more than having, you know, uh, you know, a 300 pound, six foot five tackle, okay. you know, with a, somebody half the weight. I mean, come on. Well, let me, let me throw this out to you. Oh. Okay. Um, I don't know. My daughter is, is a great soccer player. She can kick a field goal from 45 yards away. What high school wouldn't want a yeah. reliable kicker from 45 yeah. yards away? She identifies as a female. Yeah. She goes out and she wants to be on the boys' football team. Do we tell her no? No. We can't. Yeah. She's allowed to play. Yeah. So what is the issue regarding now if there's a basketball team, we're providing under uh I what is this, uh, or Title Nine? Title or, Nine. Okay, yeah. under Title Nine. If we're time. providing both if we're providing a girls basketball team and a boys basketball team, she should be playing on the girls basketball team. And so what we're getting into is the minutiae of what do they choose to identify 
as. Yeah. And I don't want to disrespect, you know, I understand that people feel that this is something ingrained into them. I, 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 I'm not going to question scientists. But what, what about the fairness to the other athletes on the field? Well, I think that that's remains to be seen again because so far this has not really been an issue that I've ever seen come forward in anything in the news or anything about because it's been done. Well, I, I played it intramural soccer done. in, in, in yeah. college. Intramural. Intramural, okay. Yeah, well, it, it, but, you yeah. know, one dorm versus another dorm. Right. Yeah. My college didn't have... Of everybody. Yeah, okay. my college... But we, we had co -ed. Yeah, we had a, a female player out there on the field. Yeah. Whenever I went in for a tackle, I pulled up. Maybe I had you know different parenting saying. She was probably saying, "Wait, that's great, Henry. Keep doing it." You know, I I, I didn't go a hundred percent in because I didn't want to. Well, and I, I I'm not saying this. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know was a very saying. skilled player. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is, is that something that's going to really play into it that? They, they see a, a young lady out there who wants to identify as a young man on a soccer field. It, it, it just, it, I think it wreaks havoc with the spirit of the game. What do you think the spirit was of the attorney and the mother and this one 15-year-old girl? I, Is that a I spirit? I don't know. I don't know them, so I, I don't want to speak for them. I well, it's, what would it's, be it's the Ms. spirit then Mrs. of Doe. that happening? Hmm? You, it's Mrs. Doe. It's, it's Jane Doe okay. and whatever. Okay. You know, why would they do that? Why would they bring that lawsuit? I don't know. There's any number of reasons uh, they might bring the lawsuit. I, I think they want to establish a precedent. They, 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 yeah. they, you know, it's not for them because they're using pseudonyms. I, I think they want to get a but, precedent but it established. Has to somehow you, and you, have to with, do you know, after if this case proceeds, there's going to be a thumbs up, thumbs down. There's going to be appeals. This girl is going to wind up being 33 years old before the case is finally heard before the Supreme Court, and we have an answer on what's going to happen. What happened to the bathroom issue in North Carolina? Where is that now? I think it's a moot point now. Yeah. It cost the election. It cost you right. And what and what happened? What did they lose doing that? Well, they lost potential employers. They lost uh, several major sports events. And is it right for employers and sporting events to go back on agreements after they've already entered into those agreements? You know what's ironic in this whole thing. Here's well, the they right. Can if they yeah. want, but Here's boy. the right and the left. <laughs> Here's the right and the left, pretty much agreeing on this, on this issue. I, I think we have to see how the how, how the case resolves. If the case resolves in yeah. in a fashion which um, yeah. either one of us yeah. aren't comfortable with. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Up next, we're back with Fast Five. <laughs>